Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use TeamViewer without having to install it on your local computer by downloading and running the TeamViewer Quick Support application. It's an application that allows you to give somebody remote control over your computer. It's only available for Windows, but the plus is, let's say if you have a computer problem, you can let somebody truly see what's wrong with it without having to come over to your place and looking at it on your screen. Okay, to get the TeamViewer Quick Support application, open uh, Mozilla Firefox in this case. Internet Explorer is good as well, but I'm using Mozilla Firefox. Go to TeamViewer.com, the website of, uh, of uh, TeamViewer. If it's in the wrong language, well, if it's shown in the wrong language, go to the drop-down menu at the top, select the proper language that's appropriate for you, click it, and then click on download at the top. Scroll a bit down and look for the following for the instant customer team viewer quick support. Click on download and Firefox will ask you, do you want to save this file? Well, it almost does, and it uh, now does. <laughs> save file, click that, and Firefox will start to download it. I'm recording this in a virtualized, uh, well, I'm recording uh, Windows running in a virtualized uh, environment, so it does take a little bit more time. It's also uh, going to scan for viruses via Microsoft uh, Life Essentials, something like that anyway. That's not important, but we have to wait for it, the download to finish and the virus scanner to be done as well. It's done, so select TeamViewer QS.exe, right click on it, click open, and then Firefox will ask you do you want to if you would like to run the TeamViewer executable file. I'm going to click OK because I would like that. Then Windows is going to ask you the same question, most likely at least. I click run because I would like it to run. Now it once again takes a little bit of time, but that's okay. There it is. If you call a friend uh, who might be able to help you with your problem, tell him about TeamViewer. Most likely he knows about it, especially if he's an IT professional, he or she of course. Um, well, the next thing you do is give them your ID code that's shown here. I'm going to use another computer to connect to this computer. and it's awaiting for authentication, then you tell them your password. I'm going to enter it right now on the other computer. And when you see this session list, then the person you've given your details to has a connection to your computer and he can see well he or she can see what you see on your screen using the other computer i'm going to click that away and the first thing i do if this screen is still available i go to download again and right click it and select save link as i then select desktop and click save and this will save the application we're running well another instance of it or rather another copy it will save it on the desktop okay we have to wait once again for the virus scanner to be done but, uh, the point of saving it to the desktop is uh, very simple. The next time that person calls me, 
I tell them, well, we've saved it to the desktop, you've seen where I've put it, click it open, run it, and tell me your contact details, and I can once again take remote control over your computer, and that's easier than having to go via the teamviewer.com website once again, and trying to explain that all via the telephone. So, <coughs> using once again the remote computer, closing the download screen, and then also closing Firefox. And at that point, I allow uh, my friend who has, who might be having the problem, to explain his problem, show me perhaps what he was doing when the problem occurred, and then I try to fix it for him, if I'm able to do that remotely. Um, when we're done, and hopefully the computer problem has disappeared, gone away, has been fixed and etc. When that happens, uh, the session, uh, well, the remote control can be terminated and if you're running the team for your quick support application, so your computer has been uh, fixed, hopefully, then you can go to this screen and click close all connections. That terminates the computer, uh, not the computer, but the connection, and will show you something like this. Because it's a TeamViewer quick support application, is a is a free program. You're going to see a little bit of advertisement. I'm just going to click that away. I'm going to close uh, the TeamViewer quick support application. You can do that by clicking cancel or this, and then the advertisement for TeamViewer will be shown. Click that away. And then you can continue what you are doing, hopefully on a fixed computer. Okay, um, the downloading to the desktop means the, the, the your friend can click on this, give you once again the details, and connect to your computer again. I have it uh, installed as a full, full version on this computer too, so that's why you see two TeamViewer icons, but the one you need once again allow the remote control is team viewer qs you can right click that and click open not going to do that you've seen how it works so that's okay well i hope this uh, video has been uh, helpful um, and uh, well have a great day okay bye bye